do this? I don't know the answers. You guys are going to have to help me. Ready? So we're doing, right, eight square. Oh, um, it might help if I have ink, right? Eight squared plus, oh, squared. 15 squared equals C squared. So eight squared is, and 15 squared is, equals C squared. And what's 64 plus 225? 289 equals C squared. So then I do what? Square root it. And C is going to equal 17. That's beautiful. Nice job. Okay, if we go to number two. Sorry, I'll make it bigger so Camille can see. Um, six squared plus 13 squared equals C squared. So six squared is... 36 and 13 squared is um, 169 equals C squared. So that's going to be um, one, uh, 205? Mm -hmm. 205? 205 equals C squared. And I square root both sides. So C is approximately going to be equal to, I don't know what it is. Someone tell me. What did you get? 4.3? Um, I think it's 14.3. Okay, I was like, 4.3 has got to be like 16 something. Okay, between 16. <laughs> okay. Woo. Okay, number three. Um, same thing, right? Only with you have a triangle, it's, but I'm doing the exact same thing, right? So I've got x squared is going to equal 48 squared plus 64 squared. You guys are going to really have to help me here. x squared is going to equal 48 squared. 4,096 plus 64 squared. 6,000. Anybody? Anybody know what 6,400, uh, 64 squared is? Uh, 2,304. What? Wait, let me get the No. Okay, I think so too. I'm like, hold on, that can't be right. 4,096, and what was the 48 squared? 2,000 what? 304? Three, three yeah. Okay. And then X squared uh, together, it adds up to be what? 6,400? Is that right? 6,400? Okay. So square root, square root, X is going to equal 80. Awesome. Yeah, when I asked 48 squared and then 64 squared and you told me 64 squared was less than 48 squared, I'm like, um, not quite right. Okay, oh, I can do this one in my head. This is awesome. Okay, so x squared <laughs> equals 4 squared plus 8 squared. So x squared is going to equal 16 plus 64. Woohoo! Um, so x squared is going to equal, the, that's a 10... 80, is that right? Awesome. So I square root that, and x is approximately going to be equal to what? 8.9. You guys remembered over one night how to do this? I am so proud of you guys. Good job. Now go. I'm not going to let the next one. Okay, so now we're gonna, we are going to use this again. Are you guys like that? We're going to use this for this lesson. We're going to use this to do this lesson. Yeah? Okay? So, huh? It's close to the same thing. Okay? It's close to the same thing. So, how do I find the distance between two points on a graph? Right? Basically, I find the distance between two points. Okay? So, I want to find the distance between two points on a graph. So, I have my two points. What do you think I can do to find the distance between these two points? Anybody have an idea? Just throw out some ideas. I can a try what type of triangle? I can make a right angle triangle. How can I do that? Right, so I can make my triangle right like this, right? Is that a right triangle? Now how do I now what do I do? 
Can I find out how long these sides are that I just drew? How long is this side right here? I'll highlight it. This side right here, how long is this side? Three. Three. How do we know it's three? Because there's three boxes, right? So it's a length of three. Good. And how long is the other side? This side right here? Six. Six? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I say that and people are like, no, it's seven, right? That's why I'm like, are you sure? Okay. Awesome. So now what do I do to find the length of my, the, between my two points? Square. That big word that you guys don't like, I thought it was hard, right? What was that big word? Pythagorean theorem. That big word right there. So I'm going to say, can I just call this side X? Is that okay? Okay. So X squared is going to equal 3 squared plus 6 squared. So x squared equals, what's 3 squared? 9. nine. And what's 6 squared? 36. 36. And what's 9 plus 36? 45. 45. And then what do I do? Square. Oh, no, not square. square that little, dang, that little. Square root. All right. Oh, you could just let me off the bed. <laughs> square root, right? So x is going to approximately be equal to what? 6.7. Beautiful. Right? Pretty easy on the graph, right? If I have a graph, just going to say, if I have a graph, pretty easy, right? Okay, so do you think you can do number two without me doing it? Okay, try it. Do you want me to go back to number one so it's up there? No? Okay. You guys think you got it? You guys are smart. Heidi, this is Ethan. He's a new student. Wait, 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 I have a question. Yes. If this is a half box, is it a full box? Of course. Can I draw, you mean, can I draw the other side and have a full box? Sure. Okay. Is that what you're asking? It was like, cause yeah, one of them was slanted through, so I thought it would have been Yeah, considered. so I could draw, like, are you saying if I do this? Like that? Is that what yeah. you're, yeah. But I'm only gonna use one half of it because I only want a triangle, not a rectangle. It doesn't matter which way I draw it. Oh, sorry. It doesn't matter which way I draw it because um, it's gonna be the same, the, the, the one side, the length and the width are gonna be the same. The length's gonna be the same on each side and the width is gonna be the same on each side. Does that make sense? Okay. Sometimes I say things and they don't make sense in my head, so I have to ask you guys if it made sense. Okay, what is the length of my bottom? Oh, sorry. We gotta wait for BT to be done. Comic Con. What's the length of my bottom? Five. Beautiful. So I've got what? Which gives me? And I square root it, right? And X is approximately what? Did you say eight? Okay. 7.8. Beautiful. Nice, right? So what we basically did was the quadratic formula. I'm sorry, the distance formula, quadratic formula. Woo, we're not getting to that for a little bit. Okay. And this looks really ugly, right? I just want to point this out. Does this look, this does not look nice, right? No. It looks ugly. But you guys just did it. You did it twice. Okay? Because, look, I'm going to show you. Can I come up here? Um, what this says, I kind of want both of them on here. What this says is I take my X's and what do I do to them? I subtract my X's, right? So I have my two points, which is here. This point is um, 1, negative 3, right? And this point up here is um, negative four of uh, positive three. So I take my X's and I subtract them. 
So one minus a minus four is what? Five. Isn't that what we, and then we square it. Isn't that what we did? We did five squared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll stand up now that I have it written. Okay, so I wrote my points, right? This point they, they gave me was one, negative three, right, on my graph. And this point up here is negative four, three. Are you okay with that? So what this equation is telling me, I'm gonna take my x's and subtract them, right? And then I square it. Are you okay with that? So if I have my x's, I have one minus a negative four, right? I subtract them. What's one minus a negative four? Minus a minus is? So one plus four, five squared. <gasps> okay, and then the second part says I do what? I take my y's and I subtract it. You could look on your paper. I take my y's and I subtract it, right? So what's my y's? I have a negative three and a three, right? So what's negative three minus three? Negative six, right? What's negative six squared? Negative six times negative six is? Negative times a negative is a positive 36, right here, okay? Yeah. I know this is a positive six up here, right? Yeah. But what's a negative square? A negative times a negative is a? It'll always give me a positive. So this one, even if I have a negative six here, it's a positive six. Once I square it, it's gonna be positive. So right here will always be the same. So I get 25 plus 36, okay? Does that make sense? So I've already done the distance formula. I've just done it here. I did it a different way. If it's easier for you to graph the points, graph the points and do it that way. Does that make sense? Because this is easier for me than sometimes remembering this. You guys are like, oh, this is easy. The problem is, what happens if my points can't fit on my graph? Does that make sense? And we'll show, well, I'll kind of do it where you don't have to memorize that formula. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm here to try and make it easier, right? Okay, but I am going to show you. We're going to do it, right? Because I said on a graph it makes it easier. So if I have a graph and I have the uh, point zero 0.08, so where's my point zero? You just have to make sure you get the points in the right place, right? Where's my point zero 0.08 at? Right side. How far, if it's zero... Right, zero, eight, I go side to side, how far? Zero, and I go up eight, good. So my point is, oh my gosh, it's all the way up here. Let me change color so you can see it. It's all the way up there, <laughs> okay? And where's the point six, zero? Now my first number is six, so I'm gonna go six first, and zero, y. So there's my second point. So they wanna know, how far, oh, that's a horrible line. Okay, how far it is between those two points. So that's my distance that they want me to find. And I'm just gonna call it X, All right? I need to find that. So I'm gonna draw my rectangle. Eh, eh. Here's my rectangle, my triangle. I don't know why I said rectangle. It's a triangle, because it has three sides. Great, how long is this side, the t uh, vertical side? up and down side eight beautiful how long is the horizontal side six and now i can just do x squared equals eight squared plus six squared which gives me mm, 64 plus 36 what's 64 plus 36 a hundred and what's the square root of 100 Huh? No, no. So square root, let me, let me explain square root. You guys know what square root is. You just forget. Square root means I need two of the same number that when multiplied together equals 100. 10. 10. There you go. So it's 10. Okay. Flip back here. It was equal to 10. I didn't round anything. If I round, so I want you, oh, what is this? Oh, 
So now they didn't give me a graph, right? So what happens if they don't give me a graph? Either I can make a graph, right? I can get graph paper and graph these. You guys all know how to graph, right? You draw the little thing, plot the point, do what we just did. Or I can kind of do... I got five minutes. Okay. Um, five minutes? Yeah, before the bell rings again. Sure. You know, it's like five minutes between bells. Because I don't talk when the bell's ringing. Oh. <laughs> I'm just talking for me, guys. Come on. So what's the distance? What's the distance? Oh, let's start with my X's. Sorry. I can ask myself, what's the distance between these two points? How far is it between negative four and three? Think about my number line. I'm at negative four on one side, three on the other. How far is that? Seven. So I know I'm going to have seven squared, right? So instead of thinking distances, I'm just going to think how far between those two points. And how far between my y's? How far between one and negative one? Two. Two squared. There we go. So now I don't even really have to think about that formula that says, you know, the square root of x minus 1 squared, x1, x1 minus y1 squared plus y1. That's like, if I just think how far is it between these, how far between my x's, how far between my y's, you guys got it like that. Is that a little better? Think distance. Distance is always how far between. Does that help a little bit? Okay. So what's 7 squared? 49. 49. What's um, 2 squared? 4. Um, and what's 49 plus 4? Yes. And then what do I do? Square root it. Beautiful. What's the square root of 53? 7.2. Can I ask you guys a question? I know I can. Yeah. Why do I sometimes use the approximate? Let me write this. Appro approximately equal to sign because I round it okay if it's exactly equal to like if I don't have to round I use the equal sign have you noticed if I go flat then I use the approximately equal to does that make sense okay everyone okay with that welcome back you're welcome okay so now let's go to number two okay and we're going to ask ourselves the same thing. I want to find x squared, right? How far is it between negative 7 and 11 on my number line? A lot. Yeah, how, but how far is that a lot? 14. Nope, further. 14. How much? 16. Nope. 18. 18. 18. Yeah, good. Okay, you guys want to know why? Who can't figure out it's 18? Okay, negative 7 is how far from 0? 7. 7. 11 is how far from 0? And 11 plus 7 is? 18. Okay, all right. Oh, it only works, that way only works if one's negative and one's positive, by the way. I just want to point that out. Okay? If they're both positive, I subtract them. If they're both negative, I subtract them. We'll get to it when we get to it in a minute, okay? <laughs> How far is it between negative 2 and 3? Oh, I, I didn't see your thumb. Is there a thumb out there? Okay. <laughs> 5. I only saw this. The four feet, yeah. 5 squared. Beautiful. So, um, someone tell me what 18 squared is. 18 squared is 36. Oh, what is it? 324? 324. 36 is 2 times 18. Yeah, and 25. Beautiful. So that means x squared is going to equal 349. 25 and 25 is 50, honey. Square root both sides, and x is going to be, I think it's going to be probably approximately 18. equal to 18.6. Did you round that? Yeah, 18.7. Okay, 18.7. Approximately equal to 18.7. Question? Yeah. Um, 
Questions? Or is it not too bad? So either. This one's not too bad either? Are you guys going to get two homeworks done in a row? Maybe. Not me. I know, because you don't do anything. There's four problems. A, B, C. And on A and B, I gave you a table. I mean, not a table. What is that thing called? A graph, if you want to use a graph. Or you can do what we were thinking about how far in between. So go. Okay, here we go. So A, how far is it between negative 5 and 1? Six. Six. Beautiful. And how far is it between negative 7 and negative 4? Mm, three. Negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. I think you were thinking negative four and po negative seven and positive four, right? Okay. So then I've got x squared equals 36 plus nine, and x squared equals 45. And then um, I square root it, and x is approximately equal to six point something, right? Anybody? 6.7. 6.7? Great. Did somebody get something different? Okay, what numbers did you get? So did you get your dis what you get your what did you get your distance as? Oh, I did it wrong too because what you showed me. The negative seven and the negative four, yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about B. What's my difference between negative 8 and 3? Wait, what was 8? Oh, sorry. Um, let me go back there. Right there. You're so welcome. Do you need the rest of it really quick? Are you good? Okay. Okay, what's my difference between 8 and negative 3? Eleven, awesome. And what's my difference between four and negative three? Oh, hold on, four and seven. Woo, three. three. I know. Eleven squared. One hundred and twenty-one. Three squared. Nine. One twenty-one plus nine. 130, and then I'm going to square root. If I square root one side, I got to square root the other, right? So x is approximately going to be equal to 12 point something, right? I was going to say, I think it's 12 point something. 12? Yeah, it should be 12 point something. Huh? 130, square root of 130 should be 12 point something. Did you guys do it wrong? I think I did, yeah. Huh? Oh, sorry, 11 point, my bad, you're right, 11.4. It should be 11 something. So it, should be, it shouldn't be 12 until we get to 144. My bad. Okay. I did it in my head, so you guys got to forgive me a little bit, right? Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to do the little harder ones, right, because I put some bigger numbers on here. And, yeah, you could put it on a graph if you want, but you have to have a really big graph, right? Eh. Or we could just kind of do what we've been doing. X squared. What's my difference between 5 and negative 3? Eight. 8 squared. And what's my difference between 21 and 1? Mm -hmm. 20 squared. So I've got X squared equals, what's 8 squared? 64. What's 20 squared? 400. 400, yes. So that is uh, 464. That should be easy for me to add together. And then I square root it, yes? So x is approximately equal to what? 21.5. 21.5. Questions? Not too bad? We're okay? Everyone's good with this? Awesome. You guys are amazing. I know I had to think a little bit more about this one, right? I have to think a little bit more about this one compared to yesterday, but it's doing the same thing, right? So I've got x squared equals, what's my distance between negative 13 and 11? 24. 24, yeah. Nice. 
And my distance between, oh my goodness, 19 and negative 16. 35. 35, wow. Okay. 24 squared is? 576. 576. And 35 squared is? 1,225. 1,225? 1, 1,200. 1,225. Okay. And that equals? No, no, no. What does it add up to be? Okay, so that would be 11, 1, 8, 1801, I think. Is that right? Ooh. So I square root. Look, I did that in my head. Just want you guys to know. And I got it right. So X is approximately equal to what was it? 42.4. 42.4. Boom.